We're joined today by Lillian Musinski from Panther Volleyball. Lillian, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about your major. What made you choose it? Um, so I'm currently starting my senior year going to do my sports management degree. I have grown up playing sports. My older brother grew up playing sports as well, so I would watch a lot of his games. And a lot of the time I just was always competing for different things, whether that was I was swimming, I was playing volleyball. Um, our parents always had us trying all different kinds of sports, so it's just always been a really close part of my life. And so I knew that I wanted to do something in the sports industry, but I wasn't sure exactly what I was thinking. And so I knew I didn't want to play after I finished my collegiate career, but I thought sports management would be a good way for me to kind of stay in the sports industry and still kind of pursue a business degree and that passion for being a part of the game. So I think my goal is to hopefully work for a professional sports team here in the next year as I'm gonna graduate in December. And so I'm looking forward to finding an internship this summer and hopefully work for a pro sports team. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that there's so many other different jobs in sports, you know, just beyond like the front office and the people that are actually coaching and playing. So you, you found a good path. So your guys' season starts almost as soon as everyone comes back from summer break. And you know, you have freshmen that are moving into new dorms and you're getting back into practices and conditioning and all that. How do you make sure that you're staying on top of everything for your sport and making sure that you're staying on top of your classes while all of this chaos is going on? So we kind of are lucky because we get to move in a couple weeks earlier than everybody else. So we kind of get to get readjusted to our schedule a little bit. I get time to get my room situated, figure out, you know, what's it going to be like with new roommates around, different things like that. So that's kind of a positive. And it helps too because every year since my freshman year I've taken summer classes kind of leading in so I've stayed on that kind of school mindset a little bit and just haven't really ever stopped. And so it's been kind of good to just stay on a consistent path moving forward. And it's also nice because we get our preseason out of the way. So we have two practices a day, every day for so many for a week and a half probably leading up to when school starts. So I get kind of used to being on a schedule and then we just kind of throw in our school schedule and take out a practice. So it's kind of nice to just kind of stay busy that whole time and it gets you in the mindset of you have things to constantly do and then you add in assignments and things like that. So it makes it easy to kind of transition right into games and traveling at the beginning of the school year. That's a little bit of a head start in that respect. Um, is there a teammate or a fellow scholar athlete that you have classes with that you compare notes where it's like, hey, what did you get? Or if you've got exams coming up or if it's a project or has, have you had someone that you can reach out to that you can relate to? So a lot of the times, all of us who are in the business school, whether that's someone who's younger than me or someone who's been older than me, we all kind of talk to each other about, hey, have you had this professor? Or, hey, have you taken this class? Like, what type of thing did you do? And so we all kind of work together in that aspect. And that's not only people who are on the volleyball team, but other athletes as well. We all kind of collaborate as one big group and are really good about working together with sending information or hey do you want to be in a group project together so in that sense kind of everyone in the athletic department all of us business kids kind of work together on different projects and schoolwork and assignments to help us get through our busy crazy schedules we all have yeah, that's something we love to hear uh, what are some things that you need to help make study time work for you we've asked this question with other athletes it's you know they like to go to the third floor of the library some people like working alone some people need a playlist or a podcast what helps you the most so if we're on the road and we have like assigned study time which we do usually get on one of the days if we're staying in a hotel it's i'll turn on a good playlist or i'll turn on um, a tv show in the background and i'll kind of just run noise almost to get me focused in and then i just kind of sit down and i start working and i try to break it up into small group so if I, if I work for 30 minutes I take 10 minutes to myself and kind of reset my brain a little bit if I'm at home I'll turn on like a movie in the background and I'll just kind of run it on the tv and let it play and it's something I've seen uh, multiple times and I'm not really as engaged with it but I, it kind of keeps me focused and keeps me moving through a process and I try to spend the least amount of time on an assignment so I'm not getting super distracted moving forward with multiple assignments in a row it's a good way to look at it uh, how do you feel like being a college athlete has prepared you for where you are now? And do you feel like you've gotten life lessons from volleyball that are going to help you in the future? Oh, of course. I think sports is something that will prepare, prepare me for everything in life. 
Um, I mean, there's been struggles, hardships. We have highs, we have lows. There are things that just you can't get from just not being with a group of teammates who are pushing you to be a better person. And I think between our coaches always striving to see the best of us and your teammates are making sure that we're holding ourselves accountable to be at that high level standard. It really just helps me understand not only how to collaborate in a team, how to work under pressure, how to manage my time really well. I mean, our schedules are basically set for us. 24 hours where we basically manage down to when we're going to have time to sleep. And so I think it's just like really good because it helps me understand how I'm able to keep myself focused and motivated and task building, goal setting, things like that. And so all of those things along with team collaboration and setting individual goals for myself have all kind of played a role into what makes an athlete stronger and better and what will help me excel in the future workforce. That's one of the better answers we've heard. And we'll wrap up with this. Uh, what advice would you give to an athlete coming to Florida Tech that might be looking at sport management? Um, if you're looking to do sports management, I think you, you'll have a love for the game. You have a love for what you're doing. You'll have a love for being in that organization where people are competing and they're striving to be their best and it pushes you to want to be your best. And I think if you love that drive of just being in a high level atmosphere that's constantly changing and moving and things are, things are at an all time high when you could be winning a national championship or at a low when your season could be 0-27 or whatever that might be, you have to know how to adapt with that. And if you love that pressure and high intensity, then you'll love going into sports management and you'll love working with different groups of people, whether that's marketing, media, operations, whatever you might feel you like, those can all play a big role into your career in sports management. Lillian, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.